Hello friends, today in this video we will see how to implement a DDA line drawing algorithm in Qt Creator. So DDA stands for Digital Differential Analyzer. It is a line drawing algorithm which uses the value of previous step to analyze or to calculate the value of next step. Uh, So the algorithm for DDA is presented here. We declare variables such as dx, dy steps, x increment, y increment, then x, y. Then we calculate the dx. dx is nothing but the difference of x and x2 and x1. dy is nothing but the difference of y2 and y1. Steps is nothing but the greater of the value, which will be dx or dy. And uh, in, then we calculate the increment. X increment will be the number of steps by which the X, the value of X will increment. And Y, will, y increment will be the number of uh, steps by which the Y will increment at each and every iteration of a loop. Then X and Y are set together. Then inside the while loop, we draw pixel by pixel. Then the line is drawn. For example, in this animation, you can see that if the X value and Y value is same, the line is at a diagonal, means at a 45 degree. But if the Y value, that is dy, is lesser, then the line goes on decreasing towards the horizontal plane. So now it's time to implement this algorithm using Qt Creator. So let's see how we can implement, implement this algorithm in Qt Creator. Here I have created a Qt Creator application project. So how you can create a Qt Creator project? I have shown it on my earlier video. You can check that video in the computer graphics using Qt Creator playlist. Now I will show you how you can implement this algorithm in this project. So first you have to go to your source files. Now you have to go to the UI file. I will just make UI quickly. So I will search for label. Label. After adding the label, I will change the properties of the label geometry to zero, y to zero, then height to 500, then fit to 500. So this is the geometry of the label. Then I will get a text editor. So text edit. I will place it here. Change the size of the text edit. I will again take a label. Place that label in front of this. So this will be my x1. Now I will fastly copy this all. You can select this and using control so as it can get copied okay so this much input are fine now i will rename them as y2 this sorry this will be y1 actually, this will be x1, this will be again y2, x2, okay. So this is how the input box are. This will be x1, y1, which will be the starting point of the line. <clears throat> Now I will add a button here. Push button. So this push button will be used to draw line. Draw delay. So this is what I have added text box and draw delay button. This is label. Now we will be the logic coding of this program. 
I will declare an image uh, Q image and G one click on a star and click on a but underscore R G okay. This is fine. Now I will declare a method email inside the main window that is right main window DDA line. This name can be DDA line. Okay, it will be taking it will be taking parameter of float type x1, y1, x2, i2. So, float x1, float y1, and I will have a float x2, float y2. Inside this DDA line, we are going to declare a variable that takes dx comma dy comma comma x increment and y increment. Okay. Now we will declare in type x y. Now dx equals to x two minus x one. And D1 equals to Y2 minus Y1. Okay. Y2 minus Y1. Now, if our steps are always the greater of DX or D1, so we will declare that steps equals to DX. But in case if our DY is greater than our steps will be, if dx sorry if an absolute value of dx is greater than absolute value of dy then our steps will be steps will be d dx okay now we will say that x increment equals to dx by s steps and y increment equals to dy by steps. Now this is the x increment, the factor by which x and y will go on increment. x equals to x1, then y equals to y1. This will be the actual value of x and y. Then int i equals to 0. Then we will draw line while the value of our i is less than s steps because if the step steps is the number of times or number of steps we have to take to draw the complete line so i will draw the line as img dot set pixel and i will use x y comma and our color is q r g b QRGB is a function available in uh, Qt greater QRGB is 0, 255, 0, which will generate the color. Okay. Now x will go on increasing each loop. So x equals to x plus x increment and y will also go on in increasing. So y equals to y plus y in increment. Okay. In each and every loop, the x and y will be going on increasing. Now i will also increase, so i plus plus. So this is our DDA algorithm where we declare the uh, variables. And here, as you might can see, uh, here uh, it is showing some kind of error or a warning, and here it is also red. So for solving that, you just need to click over he here and from your keyboard, press Alt Enter. So it will display you the, that add a private declaration and enter. So what will it do? It will declare that function in the header file as we need to declare every function in this main window.h 
header files presented in the header file folder here so the error is gone now now our task is to take input from the user and draw the line using this DD algorithm so we will head towards our ui then click on button then right click then click on go to slot then okay then this is the function where we handle uh, the logic to draw the line using the dda created over here so for that i will declare x1 equals to ui 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 i will go i will build this project first so go to build and build all projects so this will give me the ui suggestion as i think int x1 equals to ui text i will see the name uh, so you have to say the name therefore click on here here its name is text edit another one is text edit underscore two text edit underscore three and text edit. so we have to take this name so uh, here we come again text edit to plain text and we have to convert that plain text into two integer so therefore two integer okay so now we will pass in the text as y2 equals to ui text edit to two plain text and then To int okay then likewise y will sorry here it will be x y one so x two equals to ui text edit three to plain text to integer okay oops there's some spaces here you can see properly no print y2 equals to ui text edit 6 the id is given by default so it might be 6 to plain text so to int okay so we have gotten all the four coordinates uh, let's confirm once this is text edit 6 okay okay fine now uh, we will write a function to draw a line it will be simply calling the dda line function and you have to pass the parameters x1 comma x x1 comma y1 so this will be starting point and ending point x2 comma y2 okay now we have to call the function to set the ui that is ui label we have to set the image on label so ui label then set pix map set pix map it will be of q pix map q pix map q pix map and it will from image img okay so this was the simple algorithm now we will try to run uh, here uh, i think i have done everything right now let's check if our program works or not so i will run the program so this is what our program looks like so i want to draw a line from 50 comma 50 to 300 300 so draw line so you can say that the line is drawn from 50 comma 50 to um, 50 comma 300 i think something i have missed something Let's check our DD is correct or not. 
dx dy steps x increment y increment then x y and then okay so here it's x one here it should be x two minus x one and now again we will check steps equals to dy absolute value of dx absolute value of greater than dy steps increment y increment x y okay okay so okay. there was a minor mistake in our dv now let's run again i am not skipping the error because if such kind of error comes for you, you must be able to debug them. So now again, 50, now 50 to 300. 300 now draw line. Okay, so this is our output. So this was the program where I show how you can use DDA line drawing algorithm to draw, draw a line. And uh, here I use the uh, text edit for feature of Qt creator to take input from the user.